Hi everyone, happy Labor Day Monday. Hope you've been having a wonderful weekend. So we are starting uh, up again this, the six week challenge uh, with week five. Week five is probably uh, one of the most important weeks in this challenge, uh, simply because it's about having conversations with the people um, that you need to communicate with in order to get any um, transition underway for you. Um, so, and so, uh, you know, today's, today's video and topic is going to be about, um, saying goodbye to any family or cultural values that don't serve you and starting to live your own. So, so I'd like to open up with, um, you know, how uh, the fact that, you know, we, we and our parents and our grandparents, we all approach life in different ways. They came from a different generation with uh, much more limited opportunities. Uh, while we know, you know, because of all this new technologies, uh, there's so many new careers, there's so many ways to do business. And uh, for older generation, often it looks like, you know, some other pyramid scheme. Um, you know, they a lot of them are still um, hopeful and attached to the idea that you know we will get a job in a, some kind of career and stick with that for the rest of our lives, right? But statistics show that you know people on average change jobs or careers like eight times before they reach the age of 35. So how realistic is it for us to keep that one job? And you know with COVID and layoffs and all that too, right? So. Uh, and we're also like not meant to just do one thing in my personal opinion we were meant to be uh, multi potentialites multi potential human beings um, but uh, but um, yeah I want to address uh, that point that you know our parents often also want to protect us they're wired to protect us um, it's what parents of every generation do uh, when though it child wants to go and explore the world and uh, go on adventures and possibly make mistakes and fail, the, the parents are coming from this perspective of, oh, you know, we've tried everything, it didn't work, uh, you know, we're old now, I uh, just, want, just want my kids to stay at home where I can protect them, you know? <laughs> and a lot of uh, parents have trouble letting go of their children in this way, but um, you know, I, I wanted to also mention, uh, you know, in my personal experience, there's been a difference. Um, there's been a gap in the values I have versus the values the rest of my family has, right? They're, they're going to be the ones who tell me, oh, don't quit a job if uh, you don't hate it, right? And here I am kind of like just withering away in my job um, and wanting to do something else. And, you know, what I value a lot more is... Um, uh, authenticity and uh, creative self-expression uh, and passion in the whatever pursuit I have and my family values financial stability and uh, long-term commitment and you know loyalty th those kinds of traits and um, just accepting that we see the world a different way um, you know they're from China <laughs> and I am Canadian. I am born with a lot more. I grew up in a lot more American values. Um, but yeah, uh, if you let their doubts stop you, uh, you will not make your vision possible. It's a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, that's the way that works. Um, and uh, eventually over time, uh, I opened up to family members about what I was doing, um, but also um, made sure I set proper boundaries with them. Uh, so in Chinese culture, it's very common for uh, parents to get very involved in the decisions of their children, like who the children marry, um, where they go to school, what major they pick, right? It's all like uh, collectively decided, um, which has its pros and cons, uh, right? And then here in, um, in North America, you see like university counselors basically saying, 
you know, university counselors and therapists basically saying, you know, I can't have helicopter parents like directing everything the kid does. It doesn't help them build self-sufficiency or independence. And it's actually a disrespect to the child too. And their, um, their uh, uh, capabilities, you know, a lack of faith in them. So, uh, so I need to make sure that, you know, I had a boundary with my family where they would respect, um, you know, my choices and, you know, I, I would get, uh, I actually do get angry. I do allow myself to get angry, uh, at the, very angry at the dinner table if they say any disparaging remarks about what I'm out to create or my abilities because that, that does not help, that does not serve me. Um, and they need to know, I need them to know that it's like, I, you know, on my end, it's not like, I don't feel that as love. I feel that as invasiveness <laughs> and, um, and, uh, a, a try attempt to dominate me. And I, uh, you know, th these things need to be communicated, uh, basically, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're still feeling guilt about saying goodbye to family values, um, just remember that you are the one who is going to suffer the consequence of any career decision you make, uh, right? It's not them. They can get huge benefit out of having you follow what they do and they feel comfortable, they don't feel challenged, right? Um, but ultimately it's you at the end of the day. So um, if no one else will stand up for you within your family, then it is you and we as a community can support you to do that because this is uh, one of the toughest parts in doing what we're really meant to do and what we love to do. So um, without further further ado, um, you know, uh, j just reflect uh, for today's assignment, um, reflect on uh, some of the things I mentioned. Um, you know, uh, think about, you know, what are the differences between your values and your family's values? Uh, also think about, um, you know, what are the consequences of continuing to prioritize uh, family values or culture, you know, those cultural values above your own, right? Uh, and not finding, you know, what you value, uh, like not prioritizing what you value personally, what that costs you, right? Um, but yeah, like also, you know, what are the, I guess, uh, good yet misguided intentions behind what your family is saying to you? Do you need to buy into what they're saying? Um, you know, in the end, it's really sound, right? They're just talking and like, you know, sound and decibels hit your ears and you make it mean something, right? And uh, some of us, uh, for some of us, it's hard to get what certain things uh, parents say. Like, it's hard to get that out of our heads. But, um, but just recognizing they're, they're taught speaking to you from a limited mindset, you know. So anyways, um, you do not need to answer all the questions. But uh, re just reflect on the ones that you feel um, would help you and serve you. And uh, look, looking forward to see your answers as usual. You can DM me the answers uh, or comment below. And yeah, I will see you again tomorrow. Take care now.